My name is Chad Linton. I'm with the West Virginia Department of Agriculture. I'm Assistant Director of Regulatory and Environmental Affairs. Today I'll be demonstrating how to use a Texas tube. Texas tube is only a piece of PVC pipe with a check valve in the bottom of it. Uh, some of the pros to using this, it's simple to use, can be used on any number of things as drums, cars, totes, you can adjust to height, you just add more sections depending on how much you need. Uh, some of the cons of this is it is uh, messy. Um, some safety issues if you have to climb up on a ladder, uh, on a railroad car, you have to be careful. Some people won't allow you to do that, so you have to find another way to sample. But it's easy to use, quick to use. You, uh, you drop the core in, pull it out, put it into your sample vial. I'll demonstrate that now. Now you want to drop the core in, you drop it slowly. So it pushes the valve up, you drop it in all the way until it touches the bottom of your tote, pull it up. Since you'll be using things like molasses, liquid feed, suspended feed, anything below 140 degrees, you want to wipe it off as you're coming up. Let it drain. Bring this sample over. And I've put two sample jars in a bucket in case I would spill anything. It contains everything and I can pour it back into my valve. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press this valve at the bottom to release the liquid into my jars. You want to fill it about three quarters of the way full. Now collected your sample. Put your lid on. Put your security tape over and you have your sample.